Temos o catnap. E, mano, na moral, eu nunca vi tanta gente pedindo assim o um personagem nos comentários. E ainda bem que vocês pediram, porque senão eu nem ia fazer. O gato esquelético do último capítulo de Pop Playtime tem quase 27 mil polígonos. E falando em esquelético, dá pra ver certinho a escápula, a clavícula, o ilho, as vértebras da coluna e a quantidade de ossos da costela é exatamente a quantidade de ossos de uma pessoa de verdade. Tiveram o cuidado de serem fiéis a um esqueleto real. Claro que aterrorizantemente deformado, mas sim, é um esqueleto de um ser humano. E o corpo inteiro é texturizado, dando esse aspecto de tecido, além de todas as partes serem costuradas. E um detalhe que muita gente não deve ter percebido é que essa lua no pescoço não é um colar, mas sim é o pingente do zíper da roupa dele. Tá maluco? Pra mim, visualmente, esse é um dos inimigos mais assustadores da franquia. ハーフ。ハーフ。ハーフ。ハーフ。ハーフ。ハーフ。ハーフ。ハーフ。ハーフ。ハーフ。ハーフ。ハーフ。ハーフ。ハーフ。ハーフ。ハーフ。ハーフ
six denim. That was never gray, black and white. It was never wrong till there was right. Thank you. <laughs> Feeling like a bottle of honey. See another book. Papa. But I can evolve. My goal is to defeat the Ender Dragon. Let's go. Ah, she perfect. <laughs> <sighs> well, gotta start somewhere. Ha, gotcha. On to the next. Whoa! I got rabbit feet. That means I can outrun everything. Sick. I got aimbot now. I guess the only downside is I have to deal with the stupid arm. <sighs> that worked out for nothing. So close. Ah, shit. <laughs> I'm faster than you. All right. Well, that plan was a bust. There's gotta be a better way. Nothing can outrun my homing arrow! <laughs> Perfect. I am ready to fight the Ender Dragon. Uh, I mean, a few extra mobs wouldn't hurt. Finally, I made it. Now prepare Ender Dragon to be killed by yours truly. What? What? I don't look that bad, right? <laughs> Time to think. I'm in the bathroom looking at me. Facing the mirror is all I need. Woohoo! <laughs> the takes my life. Never gonna get me Easy. out of life. I will live a thousand million lives. Woo! Woo! My patience is waning. Wow. Is this something? <laughs> my patience is waning. Is this something? Timing. Aye, aye, aye. Got this feeling. Yeah, you know. But I'm losing <laughs>
Hit the like button to save Jax. There is a hill at the bottom of the valley For all the poor storms by the way you die If you look real close, you can hear it like a joke Saying you're never gonna think I have a There is a town at the bottom of the hill They got a secret that fucking looks like They got a black magic ring you know in Poppy Playtime Chapter 3, Kissy Missy is attacked at the end of the game. But what could have attacked her as we descend deeper into the factory? There's a few possible living toys that remain, like PJ Pugapillar, whatever is left of Dog Day, and even the prototype itself that could have attacked her while we were riding the lift down. But with all that said, let's go out of bounds and see for ourselves what could have attacked Kissy Missy during the ending of Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. And honestly, I don't expect to see much, since more often than not, if it's something that we can't normally see as the player in the game, there's no point for the developer to add extra work to the scene. Even though we can clearly hear the cries of Kissy Missy, there isn't anything new to add here, other than the previously mentioned questions of who do you think attacked her and why. And if you want to see more Out of Bounds secrets like this, make sure to smash the follow. Какими бы блоками из Майнкрафта были персонажи цифрового цирка? Зубыл бы было шалкеровым ящиком. Очевидно, потому что он состоит из нескольких составных частей, как и Зубыл. Помни бы была Эндерником. Ну, потому что она постоянно ищет выход. Эндерняк находится в Энде, ну, типа в конце. Поняла, да? Пузырек, он бы точно был слаймом. Ну, тут, по-моему, лишних вопросов быть не может. Джекс, по-любому бы был аметистом. Потому что он такой же понтовый, зазнавшийся прям как аметист. А 
Королёр бы был. Вы офигеете кем? Но для начала подпишитесь на канал и поставьте лайк. Конечно же песочком, потому что он в любой удобный момент может слиться. Кауфмо, либо же абстракция, по-любому был скалком. Ведь у них у обоих есть свойство заражения. Рогата была бы шерстью. Ну, потому что она такая же добрая и удобная. Гэнгл по-любому бы была флагом. Конечно, это не блок, но, по-моему, ей подходит идеально. Ну, а Кейн был бы спавнером. Потому что он рассадник монстров. Ну, это очевидно.
sleep falling in love. Oh, 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 oh. Y'all live for the girls where I'm forgettable. Daisy Duke's bikini. <laughs> Oh, 